Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, and that means it is time for Top 10 Tuesdays, Episode 3. And today I will be featuring my Top 10 Favorite Female Guitarists in the Blues and um, Blues Rock, Rock and Roll genres, um, and uh, Singer-Songwriter categories. Um, there is really no specific order of these um, 10 outstanding musicians, but um, I guess the last three or four would be my um, top favorites. So um, I have some notes here. So uh, just to let you know that I'm not going... Um, by memory alone because I would forget some of the um, guitarists that I wanted to talk about. I also, um, in addition to listing them, I thought I would um, give a few uh, song titles for you to check out if um, you are willing to do so or want to do um, that and give them a listen. Um, so let's get started. Uh, coming at number 10 is Odetta. She was um, a blues um, folk singer uh, type singer slash guitarist. Um, she played with uh, Joan Baez back in the, um, the folk singer era. Um, some of the songs that I like of hers um, I guess the top three favorites of mine are as follows um, Midnight Special um, Gallows Tree or Gallows Pole is a really good one and uh, she does an excellent cover of um, Bob Dylan's Don't Think Twice I actually prefer her version uh, to the original one done by Dylan um, coming in at number 9 is Sister Rosetta Tharp um, Three songs of hers that I enjoy a lot are This Train, um, Up Above My Head. I really like that one. Um, it's a nice blend of um, her voice and her skills in general. Um, guitar skills are excellent. It's a um, good balance of uh, showcasing her um, guitar and vocal talents. Um, and last not, but not least from Sister Rosetta Tharp is um, Didn't It Rain. Um, all three of those songs are um, songs that I would recommend from Sister Rosetta Tharp. Coming in at number eight is um, Beverly Guitar Watkins. Um, I've watched a lot of her videos on YouTube that have been posted over the years and um, I've never seen her uh, live before, but uh, from what I can tell, she put on a hell of a show. Um, some of her standout songs and songs that I've enjoyed listening to over the years are um, Rock Me Baby. She did a great job on that. Um, she really um, puts 110% into her guitar playing and... Um, I really enjoy her vocals as well. Um, Get Out on the Floor is another um, excellent song by her that um, will really want you to, uh, you'll really want to get up and start uh, dancing when you hear that one. And um, Jesus Walked the Water, I think that one is um, one that really showcases her uh, vocals. It's um, more of a gospel uh, song than a blues or a blues rock, but um, I like gospel just as well. Coming in at number seven is um, the late and uh, uh, extremely talented um, Eva Cassidy. Uh, she passed away, I believe it was from cancer. Um, I forget how long ago, but... Um, she was just one of my favorite singer-songwriters. 
um, and I still enjoy listening to her music. So um, the three songs that um, I chose from her catalog are Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That one, I just get chills every time I hear it. It's just such a wonderful cover of that song. And um, anyone who likes her music um, or likes that song, I think they'll like this version that Eva Cassidy did. Um, Tennessee Waltz is another one. And uh, that's a very, very um, popular song as well. Um, I think uh, Floyd Kramer did a uh, recording of that song as well. Um, and last but not least, this is off of uh, this particular song is off of her Live at Blues Alley album, and it's called uh, Cheek to Cheek, which is a real classic. Um, and another one that I don't get tired of listening to. Um, number six, and some of you may know that I'm a big fan of this singer, songwriter, slash guitarist. Um, and you may wonder why she's at number six, but um, what else can I say except that um, tastes change and... Um, other artists um, move up the list in terms of who your favorites are and uh, I'm I know I'm not alone but when I say that and number six is Samantha Fish um, I've seen her many a times live um, and uh, I have never walked away from a show of hers where I wished that um, it was better she always um, blows the roof off of the uh, venue wherever I happen to see her and um, she's been one of my favorites for a long time and probably will be for a long time to come um, the three songs that I like from her the most are um, Jim Lee Blues Part 1 which is a Charlie Patton song um, it's a great acoustic number and um it's off of the uh, Wild Heart album, I believe. Um, Bell of the West is another one that's a cover, um, which was off of the, um, that's the title track to our 2017 album, I believe. It was um, the second album she released in that year. The first one was Chills and Fever. That was another great album, mostly focused on soul. Um... But uh, Bell of the West, the, the title track, is an excellent song. It's um, definitely got a country western feel to it. And um, last but not least from Samantha Fish is Bitch on the Run. Um, several shows that I've seen her play this song, it's usually been the encore, and it really gets people up out of their seats and um, crying for another encore. And... Um, so those are the three from Samantha Fish. Coming in at number five is Ruthie Foster. Um, I've only seen Ruthie Foster once live, and that was back at the um, 2012 Blues Music Awards, and she is a phenomenal guitarist, um, writes a lot of great songs. And um, I've seen her do more of an acoustic set than um, electric, but she does do both. Um, So the three songs of hers that I really like are um, A Friend Like You, uh, You Keep Me Moving On, and um, the cover song here that she does is um, War Pigs. It's an um, excellent version of the Black Sabbath original. So um, if you're a Sabbath fan, give it a listen and... Um, if you've already listened to it, um, I'd like to know your comments on Ruthie Foster's cover of um, War Pigs. Um, coming in at number four is um, a California-based guitarist, singer-songwriter by the name of Diana Rain. Many of you may or may not know that Diana Rain 
um, was in the Home Alone movies. She played um, Macaulay Culkin, Kevin, uh, Kevin's older sister, I believe. And um, she uh, recently released an album. She has three albums, one of which um, was released with um, Mike Zito on um, Gulf Coast Records back in 2019. And um, she has two albums prior to that, I think, independent releases. Um, the uh, three songs from um, her that I really like are Long Road, Yes, I Sing the Blues, and Gotten Over You. So um, give those three songs a listen and um, check out the rest of Diana Rain's uh discography and um, I think you'll uh, walk away with a new favorite artist um, Deborah Coleman is another one the late Deborah Coleman um, she's one of the first blues guitarists that I listened to and really started getting into her music and um, I'm sad to say that I never got a chance to see her um, she passed away um, I think it was complications due to pneumonia. Um, but I know from what I've seen on YouTube, it looks like she, um, again, puts on a, a fantastic live show. Um, the uh, three songs that I really liked from her are My Love Belongs to You. This is a uh, instrumental song, and um, you can really hear... Um, her uh, great talent on guitar and um, for those guitar, guitar enthusiasts or those who like instrumentals um, I strongly suggest this song um, The Dream is another one and Roll With Me are uh, the three songs that I would recommend checking out from um, Deborah Coleman uh, now down to the final two. Um, we have Joanne Shaw Taylor, the British blues guitarist, singer songwriter. Um, sp she splits her time between the UK and uh, Detroit, Michigan. Um, the three songs that I like from her are um, Kiss the Ground Goodbye, Mud Honey, and uh, Summertime. Um, Summertime, I still like Janis Joplin's cover of that as opposed to other covers I've heard, but uh, Joanne Shaw Taylor does an excellent job on that. Um, and if you ever get a chance to see her live, I recommend that, that you uh, take that offer and uh, go see her. Um, my favorite um, guitarist singer-songwriter is none other than Bronwyn Brent. Um, I did a um, album review of her latest album, Undercover, which is um, on my channel, so if you want to check that out after this, um, I'd be uh, grateful if you did. Um, three songs that I enjoy from her are Raincoat, um, Devil Again, and um, Memories of You. Um, each song gives a different perspective of uh, Bronwyn's um, writing skills and um, it's, all three of her studio albums are just uh, gems in my opinion. So um, thank you for watching and i um, sorry this video went a little longer than most but I didn't want to just give a top 10 list of my favorite guitarist, uh, female guitarists without um, adding some of their songs that I like of each artist. So um, hope you're having a great day and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.